Come on in. Hey, how are you? Hi, I'm Robert. doing great. How are Jamie, you? Nice to meet you. Is it right? Hey, Jamie. Nice to meet you, uh, Robert. Please call me Robert. Yes, please. Have a seat. Thank you for meeting with me. I really appreciate it, Robert. Yeah, you bet, Jamie. So before we start, uh, here's my business card. Okay. Uh, call me anytime, 24/7. Um, do you have a business card for me as well? I do. I do. One second here. What? There you go. Thank you so much. And is it all right if I set a timer so I don't exceed anyone? Sure. Yeah. Go ahead. I appreciate the uh, appreciate you doing that. Uh, thank you. Uh, so, moving on. Uh, you mentioned you moved from uh, Lynnhaven. Uh, can you tell me about the move to adjusting to Tallahassee? Yes. Uh, it's been a, an easy transition because I graduated from Florida State. Oh, cool. Me too. And uh, awesome. Yeah. Go Noel. So, uh, you know, and I was born and raised here. So. Pretty easy transition. I got a lot of friends uh, in the community, family that still lives here. So, yeah, it was, it was great coming home. Yeah, I'm from South Florida, and all I see is flatlands. I don't see any live oaks and hills and no vistas. But I love Tallahassee. One reason why I came here. Tallahassee's place. great. Uh, so, how long have you been doing this, Damien? Uh, um, I've been doing this for a little while. Is it my age or my experience you're concerned with? I don't know if I was that concerned, but I guess I'm wondering, should I be concerned? Um, uh, yeah. Um, I've, I've been doing this for a while. A while. Um, I've worked with uh, some of the uh, insurance agency for a little over uh, three years. Um, okay. I also have my CPCU designation. Uh, wow, yeah, I've heard that's a pretty difficult yeah. um, series okay. of tests to take. So. Yeah, I'm a company casualty insurance subject matter expert. Okay. Um, I also graduated from Florida State, like you know, it's a nationally ranked program. Okay. So um, I feel like I'm more than confident to handle Pinecrest uh, insurance things. Does that make you feel more comfortable? It does, yeah. I mean, it, especially if you majored in uh, you know, risk management and insurance, I, I almost consider that experience you could add on to your actual like real world experience. So um, yeah, I mean, you know, you probably want to, if things move forward, meet some other members of your uh, team. I know, you know, John is the reason why you're here, and he's in Alaska, which I'm kind of jealous about that. Yeah. Love to go to Alaska. Um, so it, it's just something that likely would get brought up candidly, not that it's a, 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 like a preventative issue from us doing business together. So the um, fact you have the CPCU, that's impressive. That's great. Thank you. I'll leave this here for you. So you can get oh, you take that with you. I don't want to keep that. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so, Robert, I can tell a lot about a person by their favorite quote or their mantra. What's your favorite quote or mantra? What a mantra do you live by? Good question. Um, so, my favorite quote is the best way to predict the future is to create it. I like that. I like that. <laughs> um, my favorite quote is prepare yourself now so your future self will thank you. There you, you go. Know, living by that quote has made me such a reliable agent. Separation is in the preparation. Oh, I like that. <laughs> So, Robert, I'm here today to uncover your insurance needs, and I want to know what are your expectations of Seminole Insurance Agency? Well, um, I, I guess I don't have many. Uh, what I mean by that is I, I have no idea if we're actually going to move forward with you. So I guess what I, what I could say is expectations of you as it relates to our evaluation. That, um, I, I want to know because of some stuff that's happened in, in, in my past, I'd want to know how Seminole Insurance Agency, you know, supports clients in the event of a catastrophic claim. That's a major, major issue. Mm -hmm. So yeah. what, do you have some perspective on that? Um, so I just wanted to get to see what you wanted, and it's, that's it's customer service, and I understand that. And yeah, particularly around claim support. Exactly. I mean, like I said, I'm available 24-7, give you my business card. And um, is there a timeline that you want this all 
covered and ways to follow? Yeah, so we want to make a decision about what we're going to do in terms of how we handle the renewal process within two weeks. Um, I don't know what we're going to do. That's the whole point of us talking to a number of um, uh, firms here in the Tallahassee area. We're not uh, unhappy with our current broker um, that's not in Tallahassee. Um, but, you know, all things equal, if there was a local firm, you know, we'd, we'd like to support local businesses. I mean, we're a local business at the end of the day. Um, so, yeah, I'd say we need to know what we're going to uh, do on the renewal within two weeks. Perfect, perfect. And um, before, I, got, I brought an agenda with us to go over, but before I go over this agenda, uh, is there anybody else that should be here for this meeting? Yeah, we have two committee members that could make it, um, you know, Diane uh, Keaton and um, um, Jack Black could not make it, but uh, they'll they'll be at the second meeting. Uh, you've heard of it before. Uh, so they'll be at the second meeting where um, we'll, we'll probably review some um, proposals from local firms. Okay, I look forward to that. And um, here's the agenda. So I just want to briefly go over Current insurance coverage, property equipment, business operation, the charity tournament you guys are having last next year, and your if you have a current risk management plan, and any concerns that I should know. Perfect. If that's okay with you. Sure. And this is to establish uh, efficiency and make sure that I, I jot down all your needs. Yeah, that's great. Thanks, Damien. Is it right if I take notes as well? Of course. Okay. So, uh, Robert, uh, tell me about your current insurance coverage and uh, how do you like it? Uh, we think it's a very competitive program. Our um, our broker out of Atlanta put it in place for us. Um, you know, it's through a, a special program they have. Um, the uh, carrier who actually provides the insurance is escaping me, um, but you know, it's uh, it, it's something we feel is is pretty competitive. Um, you know, the other folks on the committee have pretty significant. Uh, a relatively significant experience in the insurance business. Um, so yeah, we feel it's it's pretty competitive. It's you know we've got what you would expect us to have: windstorm coverage, T to green coverage, liquor liability, um, adequate coverage for what is called inland marine, um, you know, the golf courts, golf carts, and equipment stuff like that. Um, and, you know, I, I think we're in a good spot from a coverage standpoint. Of course, we don't know for sure, but we think we are. Okay. And uh, tell me about the property and equipment that are used on the premises at Pine Crest Country Club. So we have the you know the typical type of equipment you would expect any golf course to have. Um, you know, uh, lawn mowers, things of that nature. I mean, nothing really uncommon. So. Uh, and what do those assets mean for your business? They mean that we can you know operate the club. Um, and so it's important to protect them and make sure that, you know, we're properly insured. Um, you know, they're a big part of uh, maintaining the, the, the quality of the course and avoiding, you know, any um, kind of turf-related diseases and things of that nature. So, you know, all that stuff's really important. Uh, do you feel that your, your assets are in, uh, adequately insured with your current insurance program? We think so, yeah. And uh, tell me about the business operations at Pine Crest. Any sources of revenue that come from uh, any operations in your business? Can you tell me about that? Yeah, it's a, a lot of the same operations you'd see at most country clubs, Damian. Um, you know, we have a restaurant uh, right now, and you know, we're excited about a new chef. Um, we've uh, brought on board uh, from from Europe. Uh, really fantastic chef that the members are um, are absolutely loving. Uh, so you know, the restaurant's a, a revenue source. The um, the pro shop is a is a revenue source, but the, the actual pro gets the bulk of that revenue. We get a little bit of it um, just to create some incentives um, uh, for him. And then we have you know the traditional golf course revenue, and uh, also some revenue that comes through events, you know weddings and um, charity events, things of that nature. And what is the chef you recently had? What does he mean for the restaurant? Is it essential? Do you feel he's essential? Yes. His chicken tenders are ridiculously good. I mean, that's just like kind of bar food stuff, but uh, you know, his entrees are incredible. So yeah, we think our food and the menu selection is uh, really a distinguishing attribute relative to the other clubs in the area. So yeah, he's he's a big deal for us. And would you say your restaurant is your largest source of revenue for the country club? 
No, it's it's the golf course revenue for sure. You know the member dues. Yeah, the, the chef is up Pierre Garçon. Pierre Garçon. And and do you feel that your business operations are adequately protected? We do. Yeah, yeah. We feel like they're adequately protected. I mean, we don't know for sure, but we feel like they are. Yeah. And uh, Robert, do you have any concerns about hosting the charity tournament event? We do. Yeah, we certainly do. Um, we want to make sure that we operate the event safely and that nobody gets hurt. Uh, on the course or after the event, you know, people are going to be drinking alcohol. Um, so, you know, we got to make sure that we operate it safely and it's uh, a lot of fun for people, uh, but responsible fun for sure. So, um, you know, we feel good about the gentleman we're partnering with, a guy named Glenn Greenspan. Uh, you know, he's just got a, a really impressive track record. He's the communications director at Augusta National and he, you know, he's a Tiger Woods spokesperson. So, uh, we will enter into a formal agreement with him, um, so I feel like we're you know, transferring some risk to him, but you know, we can't completely uh, absolve ourselves from um, you know, liability, so definitely got to make sure that uh, our risks are managed properly there. And how many people do you expect to attend this charity tournament? We're thinking you know, 125 to 150 golfers, and then we're going to try to get um, as many people as we can. You know, Glenn has a number in mind, I don't recall on it, like a defined limit, because you know, if, if it does, if it if it's exclusive, it's gonna create more demand if tickets are limited. So yeah, point being is we'll have 125, 150 golfers, and then a certain number of uh, other attendees for the after party. Okay. And does Pine um, tell me about your wish going to plan at Pine Crest? Whew, that's a big question, Damian. What is there a specific part of it? Uh, regarding your employees, are they aware of the risk management plan that you guys have in place? Yeah, yeah. So uh, we feel like we've gotten some pretty good support uh, from our, our broker and carrier around you know workplace safety. Uh, so we do have a safety program in place, and we're getting a credit for that, uh, which is good. And then um, you know we have uh, what we feel is a, a, a very good you know loss control program around liquor liability. All our bartenders are trained. Uh, very well, and that training is documented and communicated uh, you know, to our carriers, and there's mm -hmm. ongoing training that takes place. Um, so, you know, we feel like we're in a pretty good spot there. Is, is there anything you think we might uh, need to consider that's kind of an emerging trend around risk management? Um, no, we just wanted to make sure that you guys had a risk management plan in place, and if not, maybe uh, some alternatives you could help you create one and establish one and make sure that. All your employees. Are hey, we love park. for all of the you know firms participating in this process uh, to give us some some guidance on you know new things we might consider, um, and certainly would appreciate just uh, being affirmed that we're doing some good things already too. Okay, so Robert, you mentioned that um, you know if you're looking at other insurance carriers, you feel that he's escaping you. You know, uh, you've got a lot of assets that you need protection for. And you've got um, you got revenues that you need to protect that you're, for your business operations. You know, you've got a, a large, big, fairly large uh, charity tournament coming up, and you know you'd like another a second opinion on your risk management plan. So does, does that feel like something? Does that, does yeah. that feel right? Yeah. And and so um, is it alright if I talk a little bit about similar insurance agency sure. in our program highlights? Yeah. So this is similar insurance agency. We do all uh, we do all target classes. Uh, here's our program highlights. Um, we are an AM best rated agency. We have customizable insurance plans. We, have, we provide superior customer service. We've been established since 1996. We offer a risk management plan. The golf course doesn't have one. And we offer peace of mind. I like it. We like I mean, peace of mind. Good. And so, uh, Robert, uh, I feel like Sentinel Insurance Agency can give you a second opinion, a second review in all your insurance needs. And I feel that we could be a Really good fit, and would be a, would there be a time to schedule an appointment next week? Possibly Friday at one p.m. Yeah. So what we'd like to do, I said, you know, we want to get this done in two weeks. Is we'd like a um, a conceptual kind of proposal. I don't want quotes. I've been on this path before, and it can turn into an absolute mess. Understandable. Um, getting multiple agents out, you know, negotiating with insurance carriers. We, there's a chance we'll have two brokers involved. Uh -huh. I'd rather not do that, but I want to understand there is a way you can do that and avoid, you know, the, the disruption that it can cause. So yeah, what we'd like to do is um, 
you know, have you review our insurance policies, our, you know, uh, some of our risk management protocols, and then come back with a conceptual proposal, uh, you know, that uh, lets us know kind of what's working, maybe what we need to evaluate changing, and then include some perspective on how you transition the relationship to your firm and support us. Okay, so uh, Robert, uh, I want to thank you for giving me the time to talk to you today. Um, you know, we're going to make sure that we give you conceptualization on our second meeting and make sure that it's you know, all quotes and everything that you want. And uh, We don't want quotes. You got that. We don't want quotes just noted. yet. At some point, if it makes sense to move forward, then we can, we can go down that path. But we do not want anybody to speak with any owner writers. Yeah, but thank you so much, Robert. Hey, you bet, Danny. Uh, you know, just to tie back to my quote, when you get the second meeting, you're going to thank yourself in the future. I like it. All right. Time. <laughs> So are you a um, RMI major? Yeah, or, uh, I actually received an offer from Hamlin, so I'm going to be an associate underwriter with them. Nice. So Which office? Uh, Orlando. Orlando. I'll be working with uh, Andrew Celestine, Jeremy Carolina, and Andrew Packer. Nice. So can't okay. wait. Yeah. Can't yeah. wait to see what I'm Any up. particular um, like kind of coverage? or Habitation, all lesser stress. Um, uh, uh, vacate. Vacate. Vacant. Vacant lots, yes. Um, and manufacturing, yeah. startups. Right. So, awesome, man. That's exciting. Thank you. All right. Yeah, I really, I really want to end the